Come on! Absolute scene! Come on, Arsenal! Top of the lead! We're doing it! Get in there! Super Nick Cassetta! He knows exactly what we did! Come in! Come in, attack! I was on the way to Champions League! Come on! Super Nick Cassetta! He knows exactly what we did! Turn the other back! Come in, attack! I was on the way to Champions League! Oh, that is the man of the moment, Reese Nelson. These three players won us again today. Say Oh my god, what a match day! Unbelievable stuff! This is why you come to football, man! These are the moments! Unbelievable win! My god! We made it hard for ourselves! What was that about? Da, da, da. We go from Everton, where we're just coasting it, absolutely just killing it, to this! Where we make it so hard for ourselves, conceding a goal in less than 10 seconds! My god! Three changes from Arteta! And it didn't look like it was going to work. Da, da, da. But thank God for Reese Nelson. In fact, it was a substitute. It was a hail end. Boys who came on as subs today. And Will Smith Rowe with an assist. Reese Nelson with a goal and a brilliant assist. What an impact Reese Nelson had, honestly. What an impact. The last time I remember he's. I mean, I can't remember exactly his appearances, but one of the games this season, he was absolutely unbelievable. How he manages to stay so sharp, so match ready, when he gets no minutes, he comes on, he was just brilliant, unbelievable wing play. And I can't remember the game, remind me in the comments. Might be your own belief, but he did the same thing. He came on and played like an old school throwback winger. Absolutely superb, man. I'm so happy for Reese Nelson. And do you know what, man? There's a case to be made that he's the most, like, not the best winger, but the most out and out winger, the most traditional winger at our club. And do you know what? I saw too many crosses today that were floated in. We didn't even have a striker on the pitch. Never mind, like, a Giroud type striker. And when Reese Nelson came on, the quality of his crossing was a stark contrast to what we had seen before. Instead of floating balls, he was like asking more questions with his crossing. They were hammered in rather than just kind of floating in. He was absolutely brilliant. I could not be more pleased for someone. If I could have chosen one player to score that winning goal, it would have been him. I'm so, so happy for him that he scored it. And now, listen, Europa League, especially against Sporting, he has got to start. He has earned a start. Absolutely unbelievable. We didn't have luck. Trossard injured. Uh, Smith Rowe came on and off, which you don't see very often. Thank God we had Reese Nelson on the bench. He's a player we don't even talk about. We don't even think about, but he really, really came into his own today and answered the call. And with Man City winning earlier against Newcastle, they didn't look bulletproof. My God, nor do Arsenal. It's going to be one hell of a season. So, so important for Arsenal to win today. And we did it. Man, honestly, we were, we were 
staring down the barrel of a loss. Somehow managed to get it back to 2-2. And in the second half, Thomas Partey was sensational. I'm giving my man of the match to Reese Nelson without a doubt because he had such a massive impact on the game. And with that last, last, last breath goal, that last second goal, never mind last minute goal, you have to give it to him. But Thomas Partey was absolutely sensational. Obviously got a goal. He was the driving force for our second goal as well with what he did in midfield and then released the ball down the Arsenal's left where Reese Nelson did the job and crossed it in for Ben White who scored his first ever Arsenal goal. Just unbelievable, man. The manner of this victory has got to absolutely flood our squad with belief that we can go and win the title. It really has got to do that. And I said this against Everton last time. If you didn't believe at the start of the game, you better believe now. And I'm going to say that again. Surely, with all of those goddamn VAR checks not going for us, it started to feel like it's not going to be our day. I need to look, at, I need to look back at all those VAR checks because some of them had to be handballs. They looked it. But thank God for goal line technology because you know the officials, if it wasn't for that, never would have given Ben Wright's goal. I'm looking forward to seeing just how close that was over the line. I am shattered. Do you know I need to sit down. I'm shattered, man. That celebration, let me tell you, in the ground was different level. That has got to be one of my all-time favourite moments ever. They're just cheering the replay of the winner. I love it, man. All the staff ran on. It was carnage. I ended up not even in my own row. I, it was just carnage. This is why you come to football. Anyone? Oh, they're just showing the goal on the screen again. And we're just taking in every moment. We're reveling in it. Listen, this is probably the most incoherent match reaction I've ever, ever done. But you don't have to forgive me because you can't not get caught up in the emotion of this. If we win the league, these are the moments you look at. And you say, that's when we knew that was massive. And today is just like, oh my God, this is, as I keep on saying, this is why you come to football. Reese Nelson, I love you. Unbelievable finish. The composure. Let's actually do a bit of analysis about that. His composure in the last second of the game. He had had a shot about a minute before where it was a bit of a tame effort. And you might think that that might be in his head. He actually apologised to his teammates after that. No need to apologise, man. You are the hero today. The composure that he showed to finish that off in such like crazy circumstances, going 2-0 down, coming back to 2-2, getting that chance when Man City have won with top of the league, trying to achieve something we haven't achieved for, for 19 years. My God, he looked like someone that plays every single week and was just like, in a rhythm and I can't even remember the last time he played in the league unbelievable Finney just absolutely mad look this is what it feels like man he still can't believe it talk to me I've been crying <laughs> I've been crying <laughs> I've got a stitch <laughs> mate I've got everything right now Jesus Christ listen we might do it we might do it I'm not going to say it too loudly though but, but listen results like that exactly Says everything. If you didn't believe before the game, you better believe now. I believe. He believes. Let's do this.